Tell us about the opportunity for sort of mid-tail publishers who work with Brightcove as to integrate an ad network and how easy is that and how is it implemented? So we, we hear about the big players a lot. What about the mid-tail players? Yeah, so Brightcove's done a great job over the last five years of building a platform that allows publishers to uh, easily connect into monetization sources, analytics uh, analytics providers, and that's what's really necessary. There's a lot of complexity in the in the video world, and um, Brightcove's done a great job with integrating with various third-party vendors um, like Tremor Video, like Yumi um, on the on the monetization side, with uh, visible measures on the analytics side, and um, allows small uh, publishers who might not have a technical team to um, to to be better able to leverage these uh, leverage these these technologies and um, and take advantage of it and really be able to um, show the value of their of their traffic so how does that work for a publisher um, you know in other words can you select what sort of advertise you want how much control does a publisher have about the ads that come through once they're hooked up with a network yeah, so this isn't necessar necessarily specific to Brightcove, but a lot of times these these publishers will uh, create direct relationships with ad networks, and um, and it allows them to get these ads from these networks. These networks are able to sort of pick and choose the inventory they want, deliver the the most appropriate uh, campaigns to these publishers. Um, but by using a platform like Brightcove, it doesn't require the publisher to do any sort of technical heavy lifting, um, and allows them to, to to fully monetize their 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 traffic um, without having to um, do a lot of technical plumbing. So tell me about the uh, the media that's going in, pre-roll, overlay, in-stream, the kind of stuff that comes through the network, through the Brightco player to publishers, and around some of the economics around that, uh, CPMs. Yeah, so we're still seeing, we're still seeing a lot of uh, the majority of campaigns from agencies are still in the CPM world. Um, it takes a lot of time for uh, for the buyers to to sort of latch on to a new pricing model. Um, Google and YouTube have come up with uh, TrueView, which is um, which is which allows the user to skip, which is great that it, it, it introduces a a low level of control for the user. Um, but now it's it's a little bit complicated because now the agency has a different pricing model. Uh, Tremor Video introduced about two two or three years ago um, engagement pricing. Um, the challenge with engagement pricing is that there is no industry definition of engagement. But all of these things are neat, necessary to move the industry forward um, because at the end of the day, um, the CPM, um, the cost per 1,000 views of your ad, isn't necessarily the best uh, the, the best pricing model. So um, figuring out ways to, to sort of move the industry forward is, is, is really what's necessary. And just uh, going a little bit deeper on the Brightcove integration, so can you designate uh, if you want pre-roll or mid-roll or overlay or is it primarily just pre-roll? Yeah, as a publisher, Brightcove provides a uh, an ad management UI so that you can pick and choose what works. Um, in my mind, what a publisher needs to use is data to understand not what works in in aggregate across every single publisher or that I want pre-roll on all of my sports content, but starting to understand which types of users are engaging with an overlay, for example, or which types of users are best to serve a pre-roll in a mobile uh, mobile ad, and this requires data. This requires analytics. Um, so um, the industry demands this, both on the buy side and the demand side, data that helps drive decisioning.